All right. Welcome back to my channel, Heavy Metal Music of Destruction, and tonight, as I already did the 30th anniversary review of Celtic Cross's debut full length album, I'm going to be doing a review of Art Shows the Apocalyptic Tramfitter. And I'm going to give you a brief history of the band, so here we go. So yeah, uh, Art Scout, uh, is from Finland, uh, location, Turkey, Var Sanas, Soimi, uh, status active, formed in 1989, was active 1989, uh, 1998, 1999, basically they were around 1000, still not around, 1001, still not around, 2002, still not around, 2003, still not around, and then in 2004, they reformed. Uh, so yeah, which is pretty cool. So, earlier releases, the Jesus Spawn demo in 1991, independent cassette, amazing. Uh, Lana, Lord Angels Lair, Rachel Blotcherer, and Blood Desecrator. And then the, uh, second demo, Pianist Perverser demo, uh, Lord Angels Lair, Rachel Blotcherer, and Blood Desecrator on drums. Then the Angel Gun, Tales of Discretion to be 1993, uh, Lord Angels Lair, Rachel Blotcherer, and Blood Desecrator on drums. And then in Message of Steve Morris, which ends in uh, 1999, with Behirit, uh, Nuclear Holocaust of Vengeance, Necro Perversion, and Black Jesus, Arsco, Lord Angel Slayer, Virtual Barcher, and Blood Desecret, or Drums, and then Angel Slayer and Black F.A. Metal EP, February 26th, 2005, Line Up, Lord Angel Slayer, Virtual Barcher, and Blood Desecret, Horror and Bethlehem for length, 2006. Uh, Lord, Angel Slayer, Russia Watcher, and Sinister Drums. Discretion and Sonomy's Wit, Black Witcher and Archo, October 15th, 2008. Oswald's Eruptions, Black Witcher, Emperor of Vaz, Trangenda, Archo, Lord Angel Slayer, Russia Watcher, and Sinister. Then the Light of Our Darkness, the second full length. February 7th, 2009. Uh, Last Miss Underground Productions, 12 inch model. One up, Lord Angel Slayer, Richard Watcher, and Sinister. And of the Angel Slayer and Darkness compilation, May 13th, 2010. DB Memorial Productions, two CDs. Uh, one up, none. Guess in touch and Thomas Stench, Vocal 62, Track 18. Heavily Volva, Christless, Price EP, October 14th, 2011. Debima Morty Productions, 1 Up, X Lair, Richard Watcher, and Sinister. Uh, Werewolf of uh, Satanic, Warmaster, Bessie Annoyance, Grave, Heavy Cross, Infernal Darkness, Knife, Cruel Commando, and also Armor. Blasphemous Evil, Bloodrick, Horna, Guilt Moon, Bargruff, Warlog, Guest Session, Azagil, Azazel, Behexen, Dawn of Relic, Eve Master, and he is also the vocalist in uh, Satanic Warmaster, 
Satanist terrorist and the true werewolf. So yeah, very cool that he's on some martial releases. Uh, rehearsal on live 1990s slash Jesus Spawn Incantation and Arco Split October 8th, 2013. Uh, Incantation John Menkenty, guitarist and vocals. Aragon Armory uh, died in 1996, original bassist. Brett Markowski, guitarist Paul Lenny, also a pro from and then Arco, obviously. We're going to just learn what's the watch for and what's the current drums. And just laying Christ behind in black metal. Surrender of Divinity and Arco is split. Surrender of Divinity, Avigay, Sona Lux, Weather, Weather Corn, Arco, Lord of Slayer, Rush of Arch for Insane Surrender. Brazilian Ritual Second Attack. Split video with uh, Black Victory, Impurity, Archdo, and Grave Jesse Crater. And then the Apocalyptic Triumphator, which is your third full length film. Um, one up with Lord and Slur, Richard Rochester, and Serious Terror, Guest Musicians, Werewolf, and Diabellus Silverum Keyboards. Awesome. And then, yeah, uh, sorry if there was any, like, I don't know, bad language or anything. I try not to do that stuff. But, at the end of the day, if you're offended, then, uh, shame on you. Um, but this is, yeah, this is your work done by Chris Moyen, who did Incantations, Arts, all of their albums, including the new one, actually. And that's the back. Very cool. Truck listen, intro, left hand path, um, very ominous track, nuns and darkness, track two, um, the apocalyptic triumphator, track three, phallic desecrator of sacred gates, track four, grand luciferian theophany, Track 5, Those Below, We Go on Hell, Track 6, Intro, Right Hand Path, Track 7, Congregation, of Circumcised, Track 8, Sado Magical Portal, Track 9, Light of Full Phosphorus, Track 10, and Profanator of the First Commandment, Track 11, Funeral for Attorney, Track 12, uh, dbmemorty, www.dbmemorty.com, dmp666 at gmail.com. Now, how I actually found out about our show is on YouTube. Um, it was in 2010, and I found the, uh, Angel EP. 1993 on YouTube, freaking blasted it. It's only 13 minutes and 47 seconds, but that short time really gave me a brief snapshot of what to get into from our show. And then the next stuff that I got into from our goat was obviously their uh, 2006 to be a full length for Bethlehem. Which I heard in 2010, and then the Light of Our Darkness, which I heard in 2010 as well. Uh, I got more into the band, and then I got like heavily into our show in 2011 because of a Zero Trauma's magazine issue with Venom, which I got when I was like a child, so still discovering. A lot of uh, black metal, actually. These guys were really new to me. I mean, I knew Kill the Cross, like, way before a new Earth show. Mardik, obviously, Immortal, Ragnarok, uh, Venom, since 2005, so, yeah. But Earth show was really new to me. Obviously, you know, Cradle of Filth and Mayhem and 
Demon Borg here, and welcome to SX3. And if you guys have lost some old fans and started for an honest satirical on America, it was like really new for me. And uh, yeah, when I first found Arco, I've never looked back since, man. They're just one of my favorite bands. And uh, the interview was about their heavily involved Christ Flats Rights AP in 2011. Um, and then I actually saw them at uh, Partisan Open Air in 2012 as part of the Heavenly Volva Christ Let's Rights EP European Tour in 2012, which is awesome. And then after 2012, I didn't see them because it was just a one off show. Um, it was during the daytime. And the first, like, proper uh, venue show was in fact on the Apocalyptic Giraffe Tour European Tour with uh, our show Inquisition and Onscaft and Black Death. However, I did not see Black Death. I wanted to see Black Death because I checked them out and I freaking loved Black Death's music. I haven't listened to them since then, so yeah. Just a brief uh, listening band for me. Our show, I still listen to, you know. Uh, and then I saw them again, not in 2016, because that's when I saw Sawfly and Gruesome as well. And then in 2017, I saw them for the third time in London on the uh, Eternal Damage and Christ EP tour, uh, European tour. Uh, with Bowser and Sephora Dwadi. I saw Sephora Dwadi, a uh, really great band. Hugely impressed by their show. Very much in the vein of old school Cult of Cross. So, yeah. Uh, Bowser I did not see. I wanted to see them. They're supporting their hero album. I've listened to them before. They're an amazing band as well. I still listen to them on and off. And then. Uh, 2018, the release of Lucifer and Crown, didn't see them then, unfortunately, but because I saw Marduk and Ragnarok in London, and then in 2019, I saw them for the fourth time, uh, finally, with Disaster for the first time, finally, and then, uh, yeah, Disaster, Archeo, Root, Great band, uh, which I've never seen before. First heard of them in 2009 when, uh, you know, first moved to Norwich, England, and I've listened to them since. So, yeah, I've basically been a fan of Root for like 11 years now, which is crazy. I still listen to them on and off. And then Mork, uh, I've been a fan of. For uh, a year, I'm still getting into the band, you know, and yeah, it's a great show, so, yeah, but honestly, this is by far my favorite art show album, so yeah, uh, let's get into it, this is the uh, Jewel Case CD, very sick looking artwork, I might say myself, I need to get a art show patch at some point because uh, their patches are very, very cool indeed. I love the artwork that they've done on their patchwork. And then that's the back with the artwork. Uh, so the apocalyptic transfer is the album total. Um, intro, left hand path, again. Nuns and Darkness, the Apocalyptic Triumphator, Philic Desecrator of Sacred Gates, Grand Luciferian Theophany, Those Below Who Dwell in Hell, Intro, Right Hand Path, Congregation of Circumcised, State of Magical Portal, Lord of Phosphorus, Profanator of the First Commandment, and Funeral of the Uh, yeah, amazing, man. This is the disc, black disc, 
very fitting for a, a Black and Death model. Um, our show is definitely more on the Black model side, whoever. Um, and the logo there, I love the logo. Again, you need to get an art show patch at some point this month. Definitely. Uh, more artwork inside of the actual jewel case itself, which is awesome. Love the artwork. Very, very satanic indeed. And then, uh, this is the Derek insert. Again, done by Chris Moyen, of, uh, who did the Incondition albums. And the back there. I'm trying to read this in my best, because it's all, like, handwritten. It's really interesting. Um, recorded in Temple of the, of the Black Moon on 2nd of the 5th, 10, 20, 4th in. Uh, sound engineering and mixing by Timmy Villain Audio Like Studios produced by Werewolf of Satanic or Master Back and Vocals by Werewolf and Sinister Invocation by Russell Barcherer Keyboards by Double Savilla from Angelslayer Photo by Anna Sony Sinister and Russell Barcherer Photos by Michael Vimberg Arts by Chris Moyne, led by Dan Soya. So yeah. Uh, lyrics and artwork there. Lovely, absolutely. More lyrics and artwork there. Sinister. Seattle Magical Pulse. Uh, Rooks of Watcher, Nine Scores in Darkness. And Angel Slayer, which is ruining tone and bass below. And Funeral Parts, Journey, Album Design. Our show made uh, so, uh, like a bunch of t shirts with this design, like official uh, t shirt merchandise for the European tour and uh, world tour for the Apocalypse Ramfitter, which is awesome. Lyrics. And our work there. More lyrics and work there. More lyrics and work there. Um, try to read this. Uh, thanks to Diabolus Silverum. 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 And uh, Arsenis Lodge. Philip and Debima Morty Productions. Chris Moyen and Thrun Cross Design, Satanic Tyrant, Werewolf, and Timmy Villain, uh, Zenu Sin Conan, Mika Pashinen, Arlo Sinni, Timo Latvia, Geraldine, Michael Finberg, uh, Hills 2, What Ha Corn, and Surrender of Divinity, Empress. Dies and Black Witchery, Thomas and Marvel Sedad, Jerk Keeman, Right and Bay and Sadistic, uh, and Sick Black Wins, and Blasphemy Canadian Freaking Black Death Model Legends, uh, Phil and Diocletian, Earthspur and Proclamation, Ward Horna, Satanic War Master, Catherine Inga and Genocide Shrine, Freaking sick man. Thanks to Iron Fist magazine back in the day. Hell yeah. Um, Dead Congregation. Again, thanks to Iron Fist magazine back in the day. Jimmy and Arfost. Uh, Essa and Demigod. Tora, Corns, and Behexen. Amazing black model. Night Frost and Caprathian Forest. Huge fan of Caprathian Forest. Torture Killer. I know from back in the day. Uh, Lenu and Hobro. Timo, Fury and Black, Crucifixion, Sarah, Natia, and Azazel, Make an Obscure Burial, Dagon and Inquisition, Frickin' Hell yeah. Uh, Angels and Voice of Vomit, Midnight, Temple of Bull, Sargeist, Mortuary Rape, Bissia Raids, Kill, Black Feast, Jesse and Cannibal Accident, Rudder, Erdo, 
Cordio and uh, Brazilian Ritual Second Attack, Lucian Raven, Clothing, Hashi and the Coffin Slaves, Joe Ball and Morbid Fest, Abu Dead Banners, Mika and Mikudi, Leia and Terror, Terror Possessions, Nakis and Bottom by Metal, Rip Advocacy, So Divinity Versus. Yeah, man. Uh, Freaking great old school bestial freaking satanic filthy freaking black blasphemous Finnish black metal man. These guys are freaking legends. Um, I did consider this album a modern day classic. Uh, five years old. So yeah. Uh, for our show the. Apocalyptic Tramphator, um, I'm going to give this album the praise that it freaking deserves. I'm giving this amazing album a solid 10 out of 10. So, yeah, that's my review for Arco the Apocalyptic Tramphator. Um, next video is going to be a discussion video. On why I think um, elitism and the model community is completely wrong. Um, and I might do censorship in extreme metal as well. That should be an in that, that that could be an interesting topic. Uh, so yeah, whatever comes comes. Um, so yeah, I don't remember. I'm doing the elitism in the model community discussion video. And then I'm going to do the uh, censorship and extreme metal discussion video. Because honestly, 20 year old metalheads should be allowed to, you know, say um, album titles. Even if they have swearing in them. Doesn't really matter, does it? You know? Uh, so, yeah. Um, look out for those two videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.